chatting to some of the bankers and they were saying that the banks are becoming more um, amenable to finance on commercial property. So okay. they're, like, they're like, open for business. Yeah, so. yeah. So Sam, how are we today? Yeah, pretty cool. We're in a pretty cool spot today. Yeah, mate. This place is um, really, like, super, super cool. So, um, mate, whereabouts are we? Yeah, so we're at 255 Harismere Road in Takapuna. Yep. A pretty cool property, spectacular views of Rangi Toto, and um, yeah, cool little, cute little gondola ride down to get here, which is nice. Yeah, super cute. And, and what's the specs on this one, like bedrooms, bathrooms? Yeah, so it's got four bedrooms, two bathrooms, plus two separate powder rooms, um, yep. and a two-car garage. So. Yeah, real cool. And, yeah. Um, Obviously, amazing view, and um, one of the things I liked is it's on the um, the rocks down here, so I'm um, super secure, like geotech and all that type of stuff. Yeah, so. right down, looking at the water is like super relaxing, and like the ocean sounds as well. Yeah, no, this is like a goals property, and um, mate, who would we chat to about this one? Yeah, so if you're interested, you can get in contact with Chris Bachelor from Bailey's Takapuna. Yeah, nice, and um, yeah, cheers to Chris for having us down here today. So um, Sam, kicking off into the weekly news, um, do you want to start us off with a bit of residential? Yeah, so a uh, couple changes to the triple CFA regulations, which is the Credit Contracts Consumer Finance Act. Yeah. Essentially, they've removed 11 pages of regulations. And I think if you went back to, um, I think it was like December 2021, where um, there was super strict lending criteria, um, banks were being super critical and like prescriptive yeah. um, checks of that This your was bank like statements. the KFC checks and stuff like yeah, that. Right? Yeah, if yeah. you're spending too much on like your coffees or like your Uber Eats, they'd probably call you up. But yeah, yeah so I guess removing it makes it a little bit easier to access finance, um, yeah. which will probably come into play once those interest rates come down and um, people are looking for, um, yeah. Yeah, just get into it. It's, it's quite exciting, eh? Like um, all those changes that are coming through the finance side. So. Um, better regulations or sort of more effective regulations and then some of the interest rate reductions. Yeah, get things going a little bit smoother. Yeah, 100%. Eh? Oh, mate, that's, um, that's super cool. And I've gone sort of a similar theme on commercial. So um, it was a lighter week generally for commercial news, but figured we'd have a quick look at wholesale interest rates. Um, so a little bit on the geeky side, but we've seen um, residential mortgage rates start to come down. So we've seen the banks um, starting to compete on that. And so I figured a good time to have a look at what's happening with commercial rates. So. 90-day um, bank bill rate, which is quite often like your base rate for commercial. If we went three months ago, sitting about 5.6%, the latest was about 5.3 something. Um, so like a bit of a drop there. Mm. Um, but then if you look at the 10-year secondary market government bond yield, so this is quite often a proxy for property yields. Um, three months ago, sitting around 5%, um, checked a day or two ago, is about 4.3%. Okay. Yeah, so quite quite like some reductions coming through those yeah. rates and um, surely that's going to be quite good for the commercial market. And um, we were up in Whangarei last night catching up with customers up there and um, chatting to some of the bankers and they were saying that the banks are becoming more um, amenable to finance on commercial property. So okay. they're, like, they're like, open for business. Yeah, so, yeah, positive signs coming through. Yeah, so that's, that's quite exciting. Eh? So um, just generally a bit of good news on, on that side. Yeah, and then cool. so Sam, next up, yeah, sales we've got snapshot. Yeah, sales snapshot. Um, the theme is corner site delight. So That's a got, cute little name, eh? Yeah, a couple of commercial properties that sold um, located on corner sites. So yeah, what have you got for us? Mate, I'm gonna, yeah, so I'll kick it off um, outside of Auckland. So I've got 67 Ruapehu Street in Taupo. Um, strategic CBD redevelopment opportunity, um, 1,000 square meters floor area on a 2,800 square meter site. Um, this was sold with vacant position, prime for redevelopment, marketed by Gary Harwood, Lisa Christensen from Bailey's Topo, sold for $6.5 million. Um, it was about $2,300 a square metre on the land. So mm -hmm. um, I thought that was quite cool for a little corner site delight. Nice. Yeah. Nice. What about you, Sam? Um, I've got 1 to 5 Clyde Road in Browns Bay, um, full of potential in the bays. It's a three level office retail building on the corner of Clyde Road and Browns Bay Road. Um, this one was marketed by Tony Chowdhury and Lalit Arya from Bailey South Auckland and Michael Nees from Bailey's North Shore Commercial. Um, and it sold for 2.56 million. Yeah, it's a good little sale there, eh? And, yeah. um, some quite cool commercial properties available at the moment. Like if you went back a couple of years ago, it was quite hard to get like nice corner sites or yeah. like corner site delights. Yeah. So, yeah, like pretty exciting, eh? And so next up we go offshore, right? With our good partner, Knight Frank. Um, so I've got a little bit of international news for us this week, Sam. So um, this is coming to us from Canada. So um, Calgary, Alberta. The local government there is actively trying to revitalize what's happening in their downtown area. Okay. And um, they've actually now putting in some schemes to try and promote conversion of vacant offices into other uses. So they're um, specifically targeting housing, education and hotels. 
And um, this is one of the first sort of examples that I've seen of um, local government offering to pay developers or like sort of subsidise um, mm. office to other use conversions. Mm. And um, for them it's $55 per square foot, which is about 500 and something per square metre, which is actually quite decent yeah. um, to convert to those uses. And they're also um, incentivising demolition of end of life office buildings. So um, interesting to see a city start to get quite aggressive on um, on office buildings yeah. and um, really start to try and push the conversion side. Interesting, yeah. Yeah, a little bit different, eh? And so finally to wrap up, um, we've got Property of the Week, right? So um, I'll kick off um, this week. I've got one on Waiheke Island. So I've got 8 uh, Waikiri Road in Oniroa. So this is luxury near new home. Owners purchased um, three bedrooms, two bathrooms on 926 square meters. It's designed by Helena Architects, completed in late 2021. It's got stunning views over Oniroa Bay. And um, if you want to learn more about this one, you can contact Mana Tahapihi from Bailey's on Waiheke. And um, how about you, Sam? What do you yeah, got this week? Cool. So I've got this property that we're in right now, 255 yeah. Hurstmere Road. Experience absolute waterfront. This is pretty much the epitome of waterfront living and yeah. you kind of have to see it to believe it. So yeah. yeah, if you're interested, you can get in contact with Chris Batchelor from Bailey's Takapuna. Yeah, nice. And how nice is the entry experience? Like you walk in and just get like smashed with that view. Yeah, and kind of all the bedrooms have insane views of like the, the ocean and um, it's really nice and relaxing to be here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd take this one. This is awesome. Well, um, look with that said, we'll wrap it up here, right? So um, big thanks to the vendor and um, Chris Batchelor for hosting us down here today. Um, cheers, Sam. Thanks, Chris. Sweet. And um, yeah, we'll see you guys next time. See ya. Ciao.